Do you want to find out how I got my custom channel URL for all my YouTube channels? Then stick around to find out how. Let's face it, I've tried a lot of the tutorials out there on YouTube on how to change your custom URL and a lot of them don't work. So what I did is I went out there and tried a lot of different methods and I actually came up with one that worked for me and worked 100% of the time. I've already done it four times myself and it does work. You don't even have to meet a lot of the criteria that Google and YouTube specify. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you a rundown of how this worked for me. Due to there being so many parts to this method, I cannot guarantee that it's going to 100% work for you. As of this time, right now, when this video is released, it does work for me, and I, like I said, I have done it four times. However, if this doesn't work for you, I cannot be held responsible. All right, so now that we've got that disclaimer out of the way, let's pop over to the computer and see how this works. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to https slash slash plus.google.com slash plus, and then the username you're looking for. In this case, mine is TechWiz Videos. So when I do that, it should come up with a 404 error if it's not taken, and mine hasn't, so we can go to the next step. So the next step is to check whether the username is available on YouTube. So let's go to www.youtube.com slash, and the name, in my case, is TechWiz Videos. So when you press enter, if it comes up with a page like this, this page isn't available, then that username hasn't been taken. However, there is one more step just to be safe to make sure that that username hasn't been taken for a channel name. And to do that, you need to type in after the .com slash, another C and slash. Press enter again. And if it comes up like this saying this channel does not exist, then that means that that username is definitely available. So the third step in order to make sure this works is to find out if your username that you want is taken as a domain name. Now, if you need a domain name and some web space, then I would recommend Bluehost. If you've already got some web space capable of hosting multiple domains, then I would recommend purchasing your domain name from Namecheap. I provided both URLs in the description below. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate for these links. However, this doesn't cost you anything. So when you go to namecheap.com, you type in the username that you're looking for. So in this case, it's going to be TechWiz Videos, and I'm looking for the .com. So press search button, and what that'll do, that'll come back and tell you whether or not that domain name is available, and in this case, it is. So now, if your Google Plus username is available, your YouTube username is available, and your domain name is available, then this is where the disclaimer comes in again and says basically, you've got to act really fast and get all these things tidied up really quickly. So, make sure you act as fast as you can so these usernames don't get taken. So once you feel comfortable, purchase your domain name and your web space, and we can keep moving from here. So after you've purchased your domain name and you've set it up on your web space, the next step is to go to business.google.com. Now in this instance, I'm already logged in, so you can see all my Google Plus pages. But what we're gonna do is go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click the plus button. This will create a new Google Plus page. So we'll give the page name the username that you're looking for. We'll give the website the new website that you've just signed up for. And the type of page, we'll leave that as a product or brand. Tick the box and hit create page. Now we'll need to verify the account. So you will need a telephone number to receive either a text message or a voice call. Click on continue and then you'll get a verification code which you need to input and hit continue. Now your new page is all set up. So you just need to click on manage page and up the top right hand corner, click the edit button. Now this little message may come up and we'll just say no thanks. So the next step is, is that we need to link the website. So we click on that button and this will talk about Webmaster Tools. Now you will need to sign up for this. So click on sign up. I've already signed up to this in the past. So all I'm doing here is creating the link. Now the recommended method is to upload a HTML file. And this is why you need the web host. So download the file and place this in the root directory of your new domain name on your web host. Once you've done that, Tick the I'm not a robot and then hit verify. Now you'll see here that there's a little tick down the bottom and up the top it says your page is eligible for a custom URL. And then we're gonna click get URL 
and we're gonna make sure that that's the username that we're after. Click I agree and then click change URL. And now you're all done for the Google Plus side of things. So now we need to go to YouTube, click on the little icon up in the top right hand corner and then look for the little wheel icon and click on that. Now in the overview section, you need to click on advanced. Now we need to go to where it says move channel to your Google account or a different brand account. Click on that and you'll need to re-enter your password. And here's where you'll have to check a couple of things. Make sure this is the correct YouTube channel. You can see there where the Google Plus page was linked to. And then you've got the blue button there that says select desired page or account. Now that's what we're gonna need to click on. And because this is a new account, it will show up under the available account pages section. You can see the one that I chose there. So click on the one that you need. Make sure you triple check this. Triple check all the details, hit move channel. This will give you the little disclaimer here saying that you're moving your Google Plus page to a new Google Plus page. And if it did previously have a URL, that URL will no longer be available to you. So read the couple of things that cannot be transferred and if you're happy with that, click on move channel. And that part is done. So your channel now has been moved to a new Google Plus page and it's automatically assigned with a new YouTube username. Click on OK. If you've got a couple of accounts, you'll need to select which one you wanna use and then hit OK. And up the top, it will tell you your new custom URL. And one of the things that it will do is come up and tell you that this channel does not exist. Now, I did go through this and apparently it takes between 24 and 48 hours for it to fully populate across for the new channel username. So sit tight, you've locked it in, but you will need to wait. Once you've waited, you'll have your brand new username. Awesome. I know it was a long method, but in the end it got there and it did its job. So have you tried this method for yourself and gotten success? Then leave me a comment down below and let me know how cool this video is. That's it for another video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up or even a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content that I'm creating here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because it really helps me a lot. And as always, imagine, learn, create.